What's up, y'all? This Trapzilla coming to y'all with another video. Uh, I have a uh, a uh, leg leg day I did uh, today. Uh, it consists of uh, leg exercises that I do. I do more than what is shown in the video, but I just want to show y'all what is my main exercises that I feel like will be beneficial for y'all to have um good core strength and good uh leg strength. Uh, I will upload more videos. I have a uh, shoulder day coming, and I have a uh, an arm day coming. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get to it. All right, y'all, now this is me hitting up some, uh, I was just warming up. Uh, so what I usually do is I, you know, cause hips kind of tight for me, you know, I'm young, you know, 20, you know, in my early 20s. So, I mean, I'm not gonna like, you know, it's not like you teenager, you know, you feel me? Like I was, uh, had to warm up, you know? So I did like some body weight squats. I did two sets of these. I didn't do just one, but did two sets of 135 with the warm up, you know? Cause you gotta warm it up. You know, you don't wanna injure yourself or you don't wanna, you know, catch an injury. Now my warm up might be different from, from you guys. So you might have to warm up with just the bar, just a 10 pounds on each side. Because like I said, everyone, you know, fluctuates in weight and all that and warm-ups. And, you know, it's just not the same, you know. Just warm up with what you can and then do a working set. Now, this this is me going to a working set of 225. I got, uh, I got 10, 10 decent good ones now. One thing I got to explain to y'all is if you're not, like, going deep enough, you're not gonna get good results. Now, death, death is important because if you do, like I see so many guys or so many people in the gym, they go down at like an awkward angle. Like they do squats and it's not, they're not even going down enough to where they sit in a like average level chair. Like, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta go deep, you know, you just, you know, you got to get that at strength because not going down all the way, you're going to not get the results that you want. And it's just not going to be beneficial for your hips. Like, like you might have like a unbalanced, unbalanced hips, you know, because, you know, your hips is barely getting activated because you're just doing these like half, you know, half squats. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, just make sure you go down all the way. All right, now these, I, I had to put the blood on for this because, you know, like, all right, now these, as I said, had to put the belt on for this because, you know, I'm going to three plates, you know. The thing is, um, I don't know if I said it incorrectly. I think I said I have an injured hip. No, that's wrong. I actually have, like, a hip that acts up. I never injured my hip. It's just sometimes it acts up probably because, you know, I don't do enough stretching or... You know or maybe like you know i'm not going deep enough because like i said the depth is important now this even though 315 you know is decent weight for squats you know like i shot away from squats for a little bit you know because just uh some just to protect myself you know i had to take some time off you know i was doing like other exercises like light leg press and that was it but even with heavy weight, you want to get some good depth in there because, you know, you don't want to injure yourself. Because, as I said, hips, if your hips ain't activating just your quads and your, your hamstrings, you ain't going ain't gonna to get the results you want. You know, you're going to get injured. Now this, what is this? I think this is, uh, what, what do you call this? Uh, It's 345, right? No, no, no. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, three... No, uh, excuse me. 345. Okay, 345. Yeah, it is about 345. Um, With this, like I said, when y'all go heavy, right? Y'all got to make sure y'all form is good. Because you will injure yourself. Now... 
when I ever went too heavy, the most things that, you know, that get me is probably uh, my hips because I didn't go down like all the way or, you know, didn't, you know, do it correctly. Now, I don't have a spotter, which I probably should. So like I said, I shot away from squats for a while and did leg press, but... You know, I had the safety bars there, this and that, but if you're doing, if your squat bar don't have a safety, uh, they don't have a safety, uh, you know, like a safety bar or something, I highly recommend if you're going heavy, get a spotter because, hey, hey there ain't nothing that, you know, you can't drop it on anything. You're, going, you're just going to drop it on your neck and you're just going to get exposed. Okay, now this, this is my final set now. I was planning for this video to go to 405 on the squat, but I was like, you know what? I ain't trying, look, I ain't trying to impress no one because the moment y'all try to impress someone, that's when you get injured. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta do the best you can, you know? Like, I, like it's been a few months since I did 405. You know, I used to do it for reps, but I was like, you know what? Don't injure yourself. Just go to three, uh, was it 65? It's about 365, yeah. I was, I was like, don't show off, man. Just just do this, you know, just try the best you can, you know. And, you know, just... And I also only got one rep. Now, I don't, like... I do one reps, but I tend to get... My low reps, I like to get, like, two to three reps besides just one. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, that one rep, you can get lucky. But I've seen people that had a clean one rep before. But... I did a clean one right with this. I had some good death on this. Now, as I said earlier in the video, your my my heavy might not be the same as yours because like what might seem heavy to you might seem light to me. So, and that's the same that applies to me. What si what might seems heavy to me might seem light to others. So, you know, whatever is, you know, heavy for you, like 225, 185, to be 245. Um, if that is your heavy set, you know, just make sure, you know, you try to get a good clean rep. You know, don't try to do too much weight because that might not be a good rep. And tell you the truth, it might not, it might not be benefiting you. It just might try to get you injured. But yeah, that's my 365 for one. So I got a good one. My legs are sore today. You know, it's, trust me, after this leg work, I, pretty sore, you know, it's, it got me a little bit, you know, but, that, but that's because, you know, you got to have, like, good form beats out anything. All right, now this is, uh, now you can do these two ways. You can do it with your arms crossed, with your, uh, with the bar touching your collarbone. Now, this, you know, I have this chain, you know, got, got this chain, you know, it's, Elemental value. Hope I said that right. No. Uh, you got to put on your collarbone. Now I didn't want to ruin the chain. I don't know if I took it off. No, I probably took it off the next set. Yeah, I took it off the next set. I was just thinking. I was like, Oh wait, no. I'm. My apologies. I decided. <laughs> see, look at me jumping ahead of the video. <laughs> Dang man, I'm. I'm spoiling, spoiling stuff. Now, now, this is me just getting 225 for as many reps as I can. Now, I see some people do a pyramid drop. Like, I've seen people do, like, you know, from heavy, drop all the way down as many reps as you can. What I tend to do is I pick a decent weight and try to do that as many reps as I can. Now, now, pyramid drop set, it does work. It does. But what I choose to do is whenever I go down in weight after my working sets are done, I tend to pick a weight that's decent weight that I can get for a decent amount of reps and do that as much as I can. Because when you're tired, that's like when the, when the strength comes in. When you do reps, that's hard to get. But not impossible. So, you know, like... That's all, that's all it is, you know, you just, you know, because not too many people do legs in general. Well, probably guys. I'm sure girls do legs all the time, but. 
but yeah now here we go this is where i was jumping to, and headed a video uh this is front squats now you can do it with your arms crossed i decided to do it like a normal way i'm trying to work on wrist flexibility because i started doing uh, some cleans clean squats and clean presses so uh, with these, these isolate your quads more. It still works your whole legs hip, but since the bar is forward and not back, you gotta have more bend in the knees because with a back squat, you could just, you know, push your hips back. And that's how you do it. But with these, you gotta, the knees, like, you can't have like a knee injury doing these because if you have a knee injury and you're doing front squats, it's gonna be very difficult, you know, like, I don't recommend doing these with a torn ACL. If you have a torn ACL, you want to try these. I don't even recommend doing it with. I just, like I said, a torn ACL, you can only do so much with your legs. You know? But I would recommend, like, if you have an injury, like a knee injury, and try it front squats. Right, so, uh, yeah, that's just it for the video. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, you you gotta have. The reason why I said core earlier, because you got to have a strong core to do squats. So I feel like, in my opinion, squats is probably one of the best exercises that you can do for your legs. Obviously, leg press is up there, and I didn't have that recorded, but I do hit leg press. It used to be like thing that I used to shy away, but I'm starting to do, uh, do leg press from time to time. Uh, you know, just to have like, you know, added uh you know added uh strength and uh repetitions because for me i could do more reps on the leg press than i can with squat but squats like i said squats is probably the best one of the best leg exercises that you can do uh i know i went like heavy a little bit on there not too much but you know it's whatever weight you feel comfortable with whether it's like 20 pounds 80 pounds 200 pounds or 400 pounds uh try to do squats uh the best you can don't matter what weight it is because that's one of the best leg exercises for you squats so uh, i appreciate everyone who come and view make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one